But if you live in Idaho, say near Moscow, in the county of Leyta, you might want to make some alternate plans for 2024 summer. And you might want to think about getting a babysitter for the entire summer. Because that's when the prosecutors in Brian Koberger's death penalty murder case are hoping to try him on four counts of first degree murder. We don't have the official dates yet. They're not set in stone, but they could be as early as next week. That's when the hearings plan to start talking dates. And if they choose summer, my humble opinion, they are in for a world of hurt when it comes to jury selection, picking jurors to sit on the panel. I get it. I am not a dummy when it comes to this stuff. Summer works well for the court. Summer works real well for the town of Moscow, and it really works for the University of Idaho because the university's out and all the schools are out. So fewer people are around. There's plenty of parking. It's not disruptive to the community. But let's think it through a little further. What do families do when schools are out, especially in the summer? They travel. They take vacation. They look after their kids. They don't spend six weeks, I say more, locked in a courtroom with the summer heat looking at autopsy photos of four beautiful children who were massacred and then decide if the man charged should die for it. Don't even get me started that this is a capital case death penalty because it takes a very special person who can even sit in a death jury box. They're called death qualified. It's like simple. They're called death qualified jurors. And it is really hard to find death qualified jurors at the best of times, let alone summer. And while we're on the subject of finding Brian Koberger's jury, how about this? I don't need to tell you, because I'm talking about it right now. It is a high profile case. Everybody knows something about this case. It's like Casey Anthony and Jody Arias and OJ. So finding a juror who can put everything they know about the murders, about the kids, about Brian Koberger, who can put that all aside and say, yes, I can be fair, and I can also vote for death. Well, now you're getting close to the unicorn juror. Now let's add another layer, shall we, just for kicks? What if they decide to sequester this jury? You know what that means, right? It means you go from the courtroom to the hotel, and you don't get to see your family, typically, Six weeks, I say more. Goodbye summer 2024 for Lataw County citizens, 12 of them, probably 16. This is a county of 40,000 people, folks, and many of them are university students. You know the students that don't vote there, they don't pay taxes there, so they are not on the rolls for jury service there. So you can squash the 40,000 down to a lot fewer, fewer candidates, candidates, my God, how are you going to find candidates in a teeny tiny jury pool like that? Susan Constantine knows these problems well because she's a jury consultant. She's a trial strategy expert. She's a human behavior expert. She has consulted on some of the highest profile cases of our time, including Jeffrey Epstein and Michael Jackson. Need I say more? So you are perfect for this conversation. It, this all kind of came to me in like a, a fever dream. How on earth? How on earth do they think they could possibly find summer vacation juries uh, or a jury, a summer vacation jury, um, if they decide to do six to eight weeks in July and August? Yeah, it's going to be very difficult, Ashley, as you know, because we already got 40,000 is already whittled down to a very small number of people. And then on top of that, look at how many people are going to be on vacation, as you already stated. A lot of them are going to be going away on vacation with their family. You don't want to create any sort of hostile jurors that are wanting to, that are forced to have to serve on this jury when they're not wanting to. So we can whittle away a whole lot of those people. And then, as you know, that in jury selection, it's not jury selection, it's deselection. So that process in itself is very tedious because on both sides, they have a specific profile of a juror they're looking for. They've done their pretrial intelligence. They have a really strong idea of what they want, what they don't want. And then we're trying to pull it, pull those out of that very small pool of people. I think it's going to be a very, very taxing and very difficult to do. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.